This is a true event that happened to me back in 2010. The bridge I normally used to get to my buddies right on the other side was under construction. So it being under construction rather than swim across the river, I'd have to go a half mile down that way. To where the waters were only about up to my ankles. Did I mention this particular night? It was a lightning storm, so the water was pretty much up to my uh, my waist, and I needed a big stick to get across. Long story short, going back and forth, I lost my keys, and I wound up waving my fist up to God and cursing, and then deciding to go back up to the tracks to take a second look. On the tracks, backtracking. I saw a dude about here. It was kind of shady. I didn't think much of it. He offered me a beer. So, during our little conversation, we smoked a joint. Uh, you know, someone like flashed his money, told me he was an Oxycontin salesman. Uh, and also let out that he killed his mother during birth. And I don't know, just something about his whole demeanor and the way he was talking just didn't sit right. You know, he got me to agree to go back to his place and hang out his trailer with him for a minute. And he took me up at something special. The weird thing was, as I noticed, he was trying to like hide his eyes. And I got like one little glassy glimmer. And it looked like, I don't know. I just didn't like it. And of course, as I'm following him, I'm remembering that uh, I'm in Massachusetts. I mean, uh, Salamanca. Staying away from opiates. And the weird thing was, it's falling back on the tracks. I was getting this weird, like, vision in my head of smacking off the head and robbing them. Now, that kind of scared me because I don't think like that. I, and, then, and I thought about that as I followed them all the way up here. Another thing that alarmed me is we went by these two people's houses. He had no idea who those people were. And those were like, you know, it's a small town. Everybody should know everybody. Now, as we get to about uh, this right around here, I, st I kind of stop right here when I get a little ahead of me. He's going to just drive right here. And right there is pretty much where I said my prayer to God. Uh, go show me a sign. Please, God, show me a sign that this guy's going to want me to kill me. That's about, uh, about 30 seconds later, you know, and I'm coming up the driveway here, right? I'm sorry about the poor direct thing you see like the bushes separating like the walkway and that's like a driveway uh and as we're walking like, right here right boom straight through the bushes right here right fucking reindeer like with antlers full-blown reindeer bust through a thing in front of our faces not one not two but three of these heavenly creatures even homeboy was like whoa so, of course, after seeing those fucking reindeers, right, part of my language, I asked him one last question. If he knew this the girl who lived in this trailer, knowing that anybody living in a trail park should know anybody, everybody, especially in a small little trail park like this, right? Uh, and he said, no, I had no idea who the hell she was, which kind of drove me kind of weird because anybody would know this girl in this trail park. So I split. He tried saying some shit to stop me, but... Fall upon deaf ears. A couple weeks later, I seen my friend from the trail park, and she was with their mom, and neither one of them had any idea who the hell that dude is. And it said nobody like that lives inside the trail park. That scared the shit out of me.